Hey guys, it's me and today I want to do a get ready with me video because it's been a while since I've actually done one Minus the pixie one. I don't really count that one because it was kind of like a makeup review as well So I just want to show you guys kind of the new routine that I've been doing the new products that I've been loving And I thought I would do like a little talk through one uh, Just because I like talking and I've been lonely so I wanted to talk to you guys How pathetic am I? If you like get ready with me, give this video a thumbs up Comment below if you want to see more and if you again want to see this look, keep watching to start off, I'm going to use some of my Tatcha uh, moisturizer for my face. Yeah, I've been really loving this stuff. It's pretty amazing. This is just the, I believe, trial size that you can purchase off of their website. And I'm just going to dab that all over and then just, it's, it's just a nice light moisturizer that smells really good and doesn't leave my face greasy, which is really important during the summer because it's super hot out. And then taking my Makeup Forever uh, Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the Base Mattifying Primer, I'm just going to put a little bit of that in my trouble areas. And my trouble areas are basically areas that just get greasy throughout the day or just a little bit oily because I do have combination oily to dry skin. So I'm going to put that on my forehead, my nose, and basically just my T-zone or triangle zone area. Next I'm going to take my Hourglass Veil Primer. I'm just going to take a little bit on my hands and I'm going to take that and just put that everywhere where I didn't put my other primer. Then I'm going to take my Tarte Marajuka Creaseless Concealer. This is in the color Sand, I believe. Light sand, even lighter than I thought. I use my concealers um, as kind of a highlighter as well, so that is why I get such a light color. And honestly, this isn't too light compared to my complexion. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it underneath my eye. I really like this concealer. I have been using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer for a long time, as you guys know, but that is almost run out. So I wanted to try another concealer. So I picked this one up because I've heard such good things about it. And it really is a nice concealer. It is full coverage. It's really, really thick. But it's nice because it doesn't crease and I would say that it does a really, 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 really good job of just staying in place all day. So I do like this one. I'm going to put it on my chin because I have some acne scar in there. And then use my uh, damp beauty blender. I'm just going to go in and push it into my skin, so to speak. I also use this as kind of an eyeshadow primer. I put it in my eyelids. Even though I do have eyeshadow primer that I do use, this is just my lazy way of doing it. It's like one less process that I have to do. Usually I would do my concealer after my foundation, but I am using a new foundation today. It's not new to me, but it's new to you guys because I haven't used it in so long. But I did switch over to a new foundation for the summer. So I am going to put this on first, which again, usually I would put it on second. Then after that, I'm going to take my uh, Laura Mercier translucent powder and I am going to set my under eye and wherever else I put my concealer on. And I'm going to be using my uh, Morphe S19 brush. This is just a really soft uh, powder brush. And I'm not going to swipe because I don't want my concealer to move. I just want it to stay in place. So I'm just going to pat over the areas with my powder. Like I said, I am using a new foundation. So this is the Bare Minerals uh, Powder Foundation. You guys know if you followed me for a long time, I used to use this religiously from high school until probably like a year ago and then I moved to a tinted moisturizer. But because it's summer, um, just because my face is prone to getting oily anyways, I decided to move back to a powder foundation just for the summer while I'm all sweaty. This is the original foundation, Brox Broad Spectrum SPF 15 and this is in golden tan. Um, this is their new beautiful finish brush and this is part of their like, I don't know, anniversary kit that I picked up. I just put a little bit right here and then I buff it into my brush. And then I'm just gonna buff it all over in my skin. Now because I have a brush and I can kind of control where I'm putting this, I am gonna avoid putting it too far up under my eye. This is a powder foundation. I can do that really easily because I have a lot of control over the brush and where I'm putting my foundation. So because I'm buffing it, obviously, I want to like not buff it into where I put my concealer or else it's just going to move the concealer that I placed on my face. So I know this is a weird way of kind of doing my foundation routine and a lot of people probably don't do it this way, but this is just when it comes to this, this is what works best for my face. Next I'm going to take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. This is in Radiant Bronze Light. This is for medium to dark skin. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to bronze all over my face using my Real Techniques Big Fluffy Brush. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to start on my forehead and I'm just going to very lightly sweep it. It's super pigmented. Like I'm talking super duper pigmented. So you really don't need to do a whole lot. And it gives a really nice glowy effect. So I'm going to bring it down on my 
temples and then I'm just going to put it underneath my cheekbones. And then I'm going to take it down on my chin. I like to bronze my forehead just because I have a rather high forehead and while I'm growing my bangs out I pull them back so it kind of makes my forehead look a little bit less high um, so I don't have like a five head but yeah so I'm just gonna blend that into the rest of my skin and for some reason I'm showing up really dark in the camera but it's not this dark in person so let's blame that on the lighting. I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush this is just a clean one this is the Velvet Beauty one and I'm just going to buff the rest of the foundation into my skin just to kind of smooth out any weird lines. Next I'm going to take my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush and this is in Radiant Magenta. This is a really pretty color. I've been really liking this for the summer. I'm going to place that on top of my cheekbones, kind of on top of my bronzer. Oh, and I'm using a Real Techniques blush brush. The trick is, is to get your face even when your lighting's not even. <laughs> Ugh, this lighting's making all of my makeup look so harsh. I'm gonna go back in with my big powder brush that's clean and again just blend all of that in. And after that I'm going to take my Dream Lumi uh, Maybelline pen. This is in I believe the color Radiant and I really really like this. I used this last summer and it's just really really pretty for highlighting. Um, I know I already put a concealer underneath here but this just kind of makes it really glowy. So I just put a little bit underneath the eye being careful not to bring it too far down on my cheeks. I don't want it to lay on top of my blush. I just want it to be inside. And then I just dab this in. And it's just really pretty. I don't know if you can see that, but it just lightened my eye, under eye, so much. This stuff is so thin that if you needed to go back in throughout the day, like if your concealer was wearing off and you wanted to brighten your under eye again, you could just put this over it again and keep like layering it. It wouldn't cake up or anything. It just brightens up the under eye so much. Oh, I love it. And that's it. I'm going to work on my eyebrows, which I'm going to use my Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar to go. I love this stuff. I used it so often when I first got it last summer, and it's just an amazing little trio. It's got an eyebrow wax. It's got two different dark browns. One of them is like a more reddish dark brown, which, which I think kind of helps warm up my eyebrow and makes it not look like black, black, black. But because my, my roots are totally growing in, I did need to use a darker eyebrow. Uh, powder so I went back to one of my favorites which is this. I also like this powder because it really does a nice job of kind of giving you a natural brow instead of just a instead of a really drawn and defined brow. I used it also on my friend when I did her makeup the other day for her family photos and it turned out her eyebrows did really well with it as well. It's very 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 easy to use. Then I'm gonna take my little spoolie brush and I'm just gonna comb out a little bit of the product on the inside of my eye just to kind of Make it look a little bit more natural. Other than eyeliner, eyebrows are just like, I hate, hate, hate doing them. <sighs> Since I want to kind of stay with like that glowy kind of look, I think I'm going to use a combination of my Shade and Light palette and my Urban Decay Singles, which this is the color X. I really love this color. It is so pretty. And then also my MAC rice paper. So um, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, so just bear with me. So I'm gonna take this flat shader brush and I'm going to use the color Succubus right here, which is just kind of a really light, um, I won't say vanilla, but color. And I put this all over my lid. And I'm just gonna do this as a base to kind of whiten out that area. After that, I'm going to take my Urban Decay eye, Single Eyeshadow in X and I'm going to use the same flat brush and I'm going to put that on the lid part of my eye, which I don't have a crease because I am Asian, so I'm just going to keep it like where my eyeball goes in, down. So I'm not going to bring it all the way up my eye, I'm just going to keep it again like where my eyelid or where my eye socket domes in, I'm going to stop right there. That would be where my crease would be if I had one. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go back in with my Shade and Light palette and I'm going to use this color right here, which is called Lucius, I believe, and it's like a burnt, burnt reddish brown, I'm going to say. I don't know. Does that sound right? Burnt reddish brown. And I'm going to use this and put it in my pretend crease, which is again where my eye socket is, and I'm just going to put it in the corner of my eye and build it in. Look at that. I hardly touched it. That's so pigmented. Because I have monolids and it's basically just a flat landscape, I do have to be careful where I place what eyeshadows and how dark I put eyeshadows in certain areas or else it's gonna look like, uh, what was that woman's name, Mimi from uh, the Drew Carey show? Yeah, we wanna avoid that. So I, again, I put most of the product right here in the corner and then I just kind of lightly 
blended it towards the center but I didn't bring it all the way in and then I also brought it up a little bit. So I'm gonna do that in the other eye as well. Oh, and I'm using a Morphe 433, which is very similar to the MAC 217, I believe is what the other brush is. Yes, it's also similar to the MAC 217 if you were wondering. The Morphe one is just a heck of a lot cheaper. And I am again, just very, very lightly brushing this because this, this eyeshadow does not need a lot of pressure underneath the brush to have it spread. It is so blendable and it's so creamy and pigmented that you really don't need a lot of pressure to move the product around. If so I'm gonna go back in and put a little bit more depth into the corners of each eye. So I'm just gonna add more product onto the same brush and just build up the outside corner of the eye. And you just wanna make sure that they're even. I used to be so afraid of using matte eyeshadows and then I realized I just wasn't using the right matte eyeshadows, so. I really, really like these. Next, after that, I am going to go in with a C brush or whatever it's called from e.l.f. I love e.l.f. brushes. I think they're pretty decent. And I'm gonna take rice paper from MAC. This is a really, really, really pretty highlighting shadow. So I'm gonna put this underneath my eyebrow and I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit into the reddish eyeshadow. Now we're going to do our eyeliner, which I hate doing my eyeliner. It takes me forever. I'm going to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in black. I absolutely love this stuff. You guys know that. I should probably stop saying that about every product because you guys know. And I'm going to do a wing line. So I'm not going to talk a whole bunch because I like to say that I'm snipering my eye. I hold my breath while I do it so that I don't move. And uh, my friend's husband, um, Sam's husband, basically was like, well, you know that's what snipers do when they're about to shoot is they hold their breath to slow their heart rate so they can hold still. So I like to say that I'm snipering my eyes because I literally like every single time I go in with my eyeliner, I'm like <gasps> to slow my heart rate apparently so that I don't mess up. I have to be real careful about my eyebrows and my eyeliner now because I don't have any bangs to cover up to hide my mistakes. So there's one eye. Now the trick is to make the other eye look exactly the same. <laughs> Ta-da! After that, I'm going to set my eyeliner and I'm gonna use this small little shade smudger brush from Eco Tools. And I'm gonna use my Naked Basics palette because it has the color Crave in it, which is like my favorite black. It works really, really well at keeping stuff in place and it's super black and it's super matte. So I am going to just place that over my eyeliner and kind of bring it down into my eyelashes because I don't really like to tight line my eyelashes because it just hurts and I don't like it when my makeup hurts. I'm gonna use the makeup finishing spray by Scandinavia in the bridal version, which it like makes your makeup stay in place like forever and it has the finest mist. So that's what we want. I'm gonna shake it and then spray it all over my face. Then I take a cardboard like type thing that I keep at my desk to dry the setting spray. Now I apply my setting spray before I do my mascara just because my mascara, um, if it gets wet, it will then transfer onto my under eye. So we don't want that. So I just do it like so. See, see, huh, huh? Next I do my eyelashes, which I'm gonna use my Better Than Sex Mascara and then also the Kevin Aquan, the Essential Mascara. I got the Kevin Aquan Mascara when I was in IMATS and it is amazing. I just opened it last week because I was waiting to run out of my other mascara first and I love it but I love it even better layered on top of the better than sex so I'm gonna go in and put a decent amount of the better than sex mascara on my eyes first which what I like about the Kevin Aquan mascara is that not only is it really really black and it helps lengthen and uh, make my eyelashes even more fuller but it also separates the eyelashes really well whereas sometimes the better than sex can be kind of clumpy but not clumpy enough for me to not want to use it because I love it. It's like my favorite mascara of all time. And then the Kevin Aquan brush is so nice. It's really full but it's also like a little bit curled but it's just the best formula. I don't even, I don't even understand. I just love it. It's like made out of unicorns and puppies. Like, oh, I love it. My friend Sam is going back out to LA and I'm like half tempted to ask her to pick me up another one because it's just, they're so nice. So there you go. I only put about one layer of the Kevin Aquan on because I feel like that's enough. But look how long my eyelashes are. Which you guys know, I have like the worst eyelashes. So 
this combination is just amazing. That's that. So after all of that is done, it's my favorite part of my whole makeup routine, which is the highlighter. Now, I have been obsessed with this highlighter lately. I did pick up the uh, poured version of Becca highlighters, which this is in the color Pearl, and it is so pretty. It is terrifying when you look at it at first. You're like, holy cow, like that is absolutely terrifying. But it is such a pretty, pretty, pretty pretty highlighter if you use it sparingly if you have darker skin for fair tone skin this is really really good for you as well but i just absolutely love it i didn't think i would like the poured one so much but i really do but i would highly suggest this it doesn't seep into fine lines it stays all day and it's just really really pretty so i'm going to use that with a combination of the hourglass highlighter that i love so much so i'm going to use the incandescent light which is in the middle which again this is exclusive to this palette so if you have a chance to get this palette i highly suggest it and I'm gonna use one of my Morphe fan brushes and I'm just gonna sweep that on the top of my cheekbones all the way up to my um, temple. So I'm gonna take it all the way up. And if you don't like a lot of shiny, you could stop here, but you guys know me, I'm like, I want to shine. Like I wanna look like a disco ball on my face. Poured, all you do is you rub your finger in like that and then you just, I just tap it. If you, you don't, you wanna prevent kind of smearing it on your face because then you'll move your blush and everything else. But I like to just tap it under my eye area and on the tops of my cheekbone. And I really, really, really like to do this as my last step and as my highlighter as my last step after I use my setting spray because I wanna lock in my blush and my bronzer and everything else before I start moving it around with my fingers. Again though, if you don't like a whole lot of like shine, I would not use it, but I like to be shiny. And I am going to add a little bit of definition underneath my eye. I'm going to take that same flat smudger brush and then the same Crave from the Naked Basics palette and I'm just going to put a little bit under my under eye just to kind of make it look more defined. I'm just going to put a little bit on the outside corners and then very lightly move it into the center. I'm not going to move all the way into the inner of my eye because if you do that then it, for me especially because I have Asian eyes, it's going to completely close off my eyes and make them look really, 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 really tiny. And the very last step is just a little bit of lip gloss. I'm gonna use Buxom's Dolly, which is like a shimmery mauve color. I love this. This is like my, I don't know how long I've been using this color, but I feel like everybody loves this color. Like it looks good on anybody. And then we're done and this is the finished product. So it's just a little bit glowy and it's just, I don't know, it's just me. I don't know why this lighting is so weird. It's making my makeup look a little bit harsher than it is in person. I really like this. This is just my what I've been doing to my face when I'm not going natural, which I do really like going natural for the summer as well. But what Get Ready With Me would be fun if I was just like putting on two products nothing. So I decided to do a full face for you today. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions about any of the products or where I got them from, I'll leave all the links below this video. If you want to see any product more in depth or something, let me know. I had somebody suggest doing kind of like a makeup 101 video series, which I think that's a great idea. I'm not a makeup professional though, so I am a little bit paranoid about like talking about makeup like I have an authority on it when all I know about makeup is what I like and what works well with me. If you want to see videos like that, let me know. I thought I would start off with maybe talking about like the products I have like dedicating one video to highlighters what highlighters I have what highlighters I like and then what you actually do with highlighters and then maybe moving on to eyeshadow palettes and then moving on to primers and then moving on to brushes so let me know if you guys want to see videos like that uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like get ready with me's and again I'll leave all the links below to everything that I use in this video so I hope you guys enjoy thanks for hanging out with me and I will talk to you guys all in my next video bye